Hey YouTubers, Steven here. All right, this episode, we're gonna make beef fried rice. Um, it's not a whole lot to it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm sure many people already know how to make rice. So uh, let's move the camera and let's get things going. All right, everybody, so we got some uh, thin sliced steak, right? It's nothing fancy. And what we're gonna do, so I want to cut some of the fat off. Get rid of that. Because we really don't want uh, want this to be too chewy. Because we all know that fat can be chewy. So we're just going to trim the fat. Just like so. All right. Now we're just gonna lay our steak out, nice and even like this. And it also helps that the steak is, you know, um, fairly square, if you will, or rectangular. And for the beef fried rice, <clears throat> all right, we're just we want this to be in about a half inch strip. I'll just make sure it cut all the way through. And you don't need it, you know, extremely wide because this, this steak is kind of thick. Alright, now that we've got our meat all sliced up, just going to take it all, lay it all over here so it's out of the way. Now we're going to take our strips all right, and we're going to cut them about, oh, about an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half, something in, in like that, just so that it's little chunks. We'll put it off on the side, just like so. You could even try doing two at a time if you like. Certainly make it faster. And just make sure that all the pieces are separated. Okay, so getting ready for the uh, beef fried rice. Need some green onions. So we'll get the elastic band off. We're going to hold this tight and we're going to cut this, oh, probably about quarter inch wide. And we're just going to work our way up. Just like if you were making nachos, you know, same width. Uh, or if you were sprinkling these on baked potatoes with sour cream. Yes, I'm not a very fast slicer, but I get the job done. And get rid of you. And just keep working our way up to the root. Get rid of that and the other elastic band. Because this is some good stuff up here, too. And once you hit the white, that's where you want to stop. You don't want any any more than that. All right, so on to the next step. All right, so for our rice, all right, we just got a little pat of butter in here. And we're gonna do, I'm adding three cans of rice, so I'm adding a, a half a cup of water for each can that I'm putting in. So, I should get something to dig out the rice. And we need this to go on a medium heat. Alright, now that I got my rice all out, I'm just going to try and break up all this stuff from the can. I know you can buy rice in the box. This came in a box, but it's not quite the same. Um, but anywho, yeah, we're just gonna break this all up here. Okay. 
Okay, and what I'm going to do next, all the meat that we cut up, we're going to put that in there too so it cooks in with the rice and it really gets the rice flavor. And we're going to throw in some green onion, but we're going to let this rice and steak get going first. So we'll be back. All right, look at that. Our rice is almost done. You can tell the wife is really, really hungry because I stepped outside for a minute for some fresh air and she already put the green onions in without remembering that I'm filming this. So she's starving. Anywho, the rice is just about ready to be served. And we'll be back. All right, so here we go. There's our rice. We got our honey garlic ribs. Beef and broccoli, egg rolls, sweet and sour chicken balls, and here's the finished product. What do you think? Pretty snazzy, eh? Well, appreciate you watching the series, and uh, make sure you watch all of the videos so that your dinner hopefully will look as good as this. Thanks for watching, everyone, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Talk to you later. Bye.